We think of the Prophet ﷺ in many ways, but how often do we think of the Prophet ﷺ as a brother? And not just any brother, but as the most blessed brother. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Hum ikhwani, hum ahbabi. They are my brothers, they are my beloved ones, those who believe in me, and they've never even seen me. And so we pray that we are those people, right? So you think of the Prophet ﷺ in many different ways, but how often do you think of him as your most noble brother in faith? And this is significant to the discussion about the angels because just like when we were talking about defending your brother's honor and defending the Prophet ﷺ, your most noble brother's honor, and then we just spoke about supplication, dua for your brother behind his back. What about dua for your most noble brother, the Prophet ﷺ, in the form of salawat, in the form of sending prayers and peace upon him? There's a famous hadith from Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiallahu He said, I asked the Prophet وسلم, how much of my dua should I dedicate towards salawat, towards sending prayers and peace upon you? He said, I already do a great deal of it, but how much should I do? So the Prophet وسلم, said, do as much as you wish and it would be blessed. He said, one fourth, the Prophet وسلم, said, that's good and do more if you want and it will be blessed. He said, how about one half of Messenger of Allah? He said, that's fine, that's good. And if you do more, you'll be blessed. He said, how about two thirds? The Prophet وسلم, said, that's fine. And if you do more, you'll be blessed. He then said, Ya Rasulullah, what if I just dedicate the entirety of my dua to sending prayers and peace upon you? The Prophet وسلم, said, if you do that, then Allah will take care of all of your concerns and forgive all of your sins. Now, you hear that hadith and you might think, well, then what's the point of making dua? Why don't I just say salawat all the time? And that's an improper understanding of the hadith because the practice of the Prophet ﷺ himself was to pray for himself and he taught the Sahaba how to make dua for themselves also, how to supplicate for themselves. So we too should do that. But Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah says something very interesting about this narration. He said that Ubay ibn Ka'ab had a very specific dua that he used to make for himself. So he used to allot a certain time to himself. And the Prophet ﷺ was telling him, if you want to replace that dua with salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ, then it will take care of all of your concerns and forgive all of your sins. And Ibn Taymiyyah connected it to the hadith about an angel saying, Ameen, and for you as well, when you make dua for your brother or sister behind their back. Why? He said, because if Allah sends an angel to say, Ameen, and for you as well, when you pray for anyone else, any, any one of your brothers and sisters, what then when someone sends prayers upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And that's where the other ahadith come in. So many ahadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came forth with joy on his face. And they told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, why do you have such joy? And he said, Jibreel Alaihi Salam just came to me. And he said, doesn't it make you happy that no person sends salawat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no person sends their peace and blessings upon you? except that Allah sends 10 times that peace and blessings upon them. Jibreel alayhi salam says, Ila sallaytu alayhi ashra. And Jibreel alayhi salam responds to each one of us as well with salah and salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you 10 good deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives 10 of your sins. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises you by 10 stations, by 10 darajat. And that's just scratching the surface on all of the narrations about salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how they involve the angels. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, there are angels that roam the earth looking for people that send salawat on him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and conveying that to him Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. And every single time one of us does that, not only do Allah and the angels pray upon us, but the Prophet Sallallahu has a specific angel that informs him that someone has sent salawat upon him and the Prophet Sallallahu responds by name to that salam to each one of us when we do so. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah send his peace and blessings upon him Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. And that is something that whether we're quarantined or distant from Medina, it doesn't matter. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you can send them at any part of the earth and the angel will convey it to him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he will respond. And the greatest part of that is just like Amin wa laka bimithrihi for our brothers and sisters that Allah and the Mala'ika with Jibreel alayhi salam at the top of them will all respond with prayer and blessings upon us, increasing our good deeds, removing our sins and increasing our stations in Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase those stations until we reach the station in the presence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam.